Today, we're going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound cesium chlorate. So, let's see where these are located on the periodic table, or if it's a polyatomic ion, and then we'll write the formula. So let's start from left to right. Cesium. I'm looking out, you know, around the periodic table to see where cesium is, and cesium is all the way down over here, right? Cesium is represented by a CS. Now, cesium is in group one. All group one elements are metals except for hydrogen. Hydrogen's a nonmetal, but they all share a common charge of being a plus one. So I'm going to write that I have CS, I have cesium, and it's a plus one. So now I move on to the next part. I have chlorate. Now, here's a trick, guys. If you see that you have an A-T-E ending, that means you have a polyatomic ion. And polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. They just need to be memorized. So for this video, I wrote down what chlorate is, but use flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just know that chlorate is ClO3 with a negative one charge. And now since you have both components, we do this little trick where we take the charges and we crisscross them to just see how many of each component I need. So this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one chlorate, and then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one cesium. When you do this crisscross, don't worry about the charges anymore. You're just looking at the subscripts below. And when you crisscross, don't bring the positives or the negatives. Just bring down the number. Now we're ready to write the formula. I have cesium, CS. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this one here. And then chlorate, so ClO3. I only have one of them, so I don't need parentheses or anything like that. So I'm done. So cesium chlorate is just CSClO3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.